They're known for gathering intelligence and surveillance for the military and for their controversial use by the US and the UK to hunt for terrorists. But the commercial use of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs or drones as they're commonly known, is one of the big talking points at this year's Paris Air Show. The drone debate comes against the backdrop of political wrangling. The drone industry is lobbying hard for the integration of larger drones into civilian airspace, a move that could see them used in everything from crop dusting to search and rescue after natural disasters. And drone manufacturers reckon their integration could provide a much needed boost to the economy. In the first three years we'd see in the United States an economic impact of nearly 14 billion dollars. And then by 2025, it would be uh, over $86 billion. So take that and multiply it around the world, you're talking a significant amount of money. Drones come in all shapes and sizes. There are big ones, small ones. Some are so small they look like insects or birds at first glance. But concerns over their reliability are delaying the decision to allow larger drones to fly in civilian skies. Regulators do not want to wake up a week after they've allowed UAVs to fly next to helicopters, next to airliners and cargo planes, and um, see in the news that one has crashed uh, with the other. Uh, so they're taking this very slowly, and uh, it's easier to say no than yes in this regard. However, there's quite a bit of pressure, given that uh, the economies both in Europe and the US are suffering. Um, the idea of this potential great civilian market of UAVs is, is very attractive. There's already controversy surrounding America's use of attack drones to hunt terrorists in Pakistan and Yemen, and in the military conflict in Afghanistan. And there are heightened concerns that the use of other types of drones in civilian airspace would pose a threat to civil liberties and privacy, particularly at a time when the US government is already under scrutiny over how it secretly gathers digital information. I mean, you can see Highway patrols, uh, tracking cars, tracking, I mean, it's the market, the applications are infinite. The acceptance of the fact that technical systems can be more reliable than a pilot will be, will be setting the pace for the explosion in, in uh, applications of this kind of, of vehicles. The US Congress wants the Federal Aviation Authority to come up with rules for integrating unmanned aircraft by 2015. But this already looks an unrealistic target given several US states have recently passed privacy protection laws in response to public concerns over drones. Other states, meanwhile, are vying for the right to open up parts of their airspace for UAV testing. Certainly safety is a concern, privacy is definitely a concern, but we're hopeful that they'll be able to make that guideline and, and to be able to do that. And we're going to do everything we can in the meantime to be the best positioned, well positioned within our state with not only private sector companies, with our universities, with research, but also working with our military installations to be prepared to hopefully be able to take advantage of, of the great potential that there is for UAV systems. The debate over privacy and safety means it may be some time before we see larger drones take to civilian skies. But the potential of the new drone economy is vast, and that's putting pressure on governments to eventually come to an agreement over their integration into civil airspace. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times, Paris Airshow.